सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक ना ऑल दैट स्टार्ट प्रॉब्लम नंबर थर्टीन ऑन पेज नंबर वन सेवेंटी नाइन सो वी हैव अ वेरी लॉन्ग सिलेंडर ऑफ अ रेडियस ए कैरीज यूनिफॉर्म पोलराइजेशन पी परपेंडिकुलर टू इट्स एक्सिस वी नीड टू फाइंड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इन साइड द सिलेंडर एंड आउटसाइड द सिलेंडर सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस प्रॉब्लम आई सजेस्ट यू टू रीड एग्जाम्पल नंबर थ्री वाई बिकॉज इफ अ बॉडी इज पोलराइज देन वी हैव टू कंसिडर इन इट इन टू टू सिमिलर ऑब्जेक्ट सिमिलर बॉडीज सपोज इन दिस क्वेश्चन स्पीयर वॉज गिवन सो एज इट इज पोलराइज सो ही हैज मेड इट इन टू टू अंडरस्टैंड यू द कंसेप्ट बिकॉज द सेंटर विल बी जस्ट लाइक बी एक्टिंग एज अ डाइपोल नाउ सो देर विल बी सम डिफरेंस इन देयर सेंटर्स एंड इट विल बी लुकिंग लाइक अ डबल स्पीयर टू यू सो सिमिलर इन सिम यूजिंग द सिमिलर कंसेप्ट विल विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद डबल सिलेंडर हेयर सो लेट मी जस्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ड्रॉ द डायग्राम यस दिस इज प्रॉब्लम नंबर थर्टीन ऑन पेज नंबर वन सेवेंटी नाइन सपोज वी हैव अ सिलेंडर हेयर लाइक दिस एंड इफ यू पोलराइज इट नाउ देन इट विल बी लुकिंग यू टू यू just a second it will be it will look to you just like this if it is polarized then this center will move slightly upward and the outer body like this and this like this and similarly the lower body a bit downward i hope you can see it what i am trying to make you understand so these are two cylinders one cylinder the outer boundary is this black one and the other cylinder the outer boundary is, is this green one i hope you can see the difference and so this the change in boundaries this was the original boundary and here is so negative 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 positive 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 as in the example number 3 all right here also positive and here negative here positive and here negative all right now let us as we have drawn the diagram now let us discuss the problem so he is saying that uh, calculate the electric field inside and outside the sphere all right so using gauss law simply e dot ds is equal to q and closed upon epsilon not so e into ds taking us gaussian cylinder and kept uh, radius uh, s and length as l the same concept we used q enclosed so q enclosed in this case will be as we are talking inside so we will be taking as and the polarization is uniform here so we will be using q enclosed in terms of uh, volume charge density and it can be written as like this all right so evaluating further more as you know that uh, polarization in terms of rho can be written as uh, rho into the distance suppose m all right suppose m this distance this suppose this is m let all right so uh, we can say that Uh, d tau can be written as uh, for cylinder pi a square by l pi a square l because radius was a and d tau upon all right so this is for positive uh, cylinder but similarly for negative case also so negative case and because th there will be a difference between them so that is why a negative sign s negative square l 
अपॉन एप्सल नॉट ऑल राइट सो ई इज इक्वल टू टू पाई एस एल इंटू पाई एस स्क्वेयर एल वी कैन रिमूव द इंटीग्रेशन नाउ बिकॉज वी हैव टेकन फॉर टेकन फॉर द होर वॉल्यूम सो ऑन कैंसलिंग टर्म्स वी गेट पाई रो ऑल्सो आउटसाइड एप्सल नॉट ऑल्सो आउटसाइड एल ऑल्सो आउटसाइड एस प्लस स्क्वेयर माइनस एस माइनस स्क्वेयर सो वी गेट ई इज इक्वल टू अपॉन टू एस एप्सल नॉट एंड दिस टर्म कैन बी कैंसल्ड बाई वन एस एंड वी हैव एस प्लस माइनस एस माइनस कैन बी रिटर्न एज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दैम इज एम सो रो एम अपॉन टू एप्सल नॉट so this is the value row m the difference between them is this dis this difference is m so row m upon 2 epsilon and row m was p so p upon 2 epsilon this is the electric field inside in terms of polarization let me just make you more clear how it came we first suppose a gaussian cylinder having radius s and length l and then taking the whole integration for uh, cylinder positive cylinder this upper cylinder pi s square plus l s means the uh, gaussian surface for upper cylinder and pi s square minus l for gaussian surface for lower cylinder because while polarization we have to imagine, imagine that we have two cylinders so on taking rho pi l and epsilon not common we have s square minus l square and uh, cancelling one s from here Uh, to this and then uh, taking the negative sign we can see that from this this dipole the distance between them is m we have uh, supposed already so we get rho m by 2 epsilon and rho m is p by 2 epsilon so this is the answer for electric field inside now he is saying that we need to prove that oh sorry we need to prove that Uh, show that electric field outside can be expressed in this form all right so now for e electric field outside the uh, cylinder e outside uh, sim uh, simply apply gauss law e dot ds is equal to q upon epsilon not and when we just calculated e as so e into uh, ds is 2 pi s into l into Rho pi a square l. I am writing directly. So e is written as rho a square upon epsilon not into s, and with one s cap in the direction of electric field is in the direction of s cap. S cap is the uh, unit vector for the Gaussian surface we assumed. All right, this is a square. So similarly for uh, this, this for for it is for one sphere while when we are talking for two spheres we'll be doing like this all right upon epsilon not s cap positive and s with a s positive minus s cap negative with a s negative so we'll be doing like this so uh, i tried a lot but i found only the only one solution that is given in the griffith books and from that uh, using binomial and other things you can easily found uh, find uh, the electric field as uh, er upon 2 a square upon 2 epsilon not s square 2p dot s cap i am writing the answer directly just apply some binomial concept and it is a very lengthy solution so it needs a lot of uh, time and the video will be very longer that is why so i am writing it directly if you find uh, any other solution on or any other solution to this question somewhere else then please write in the comment section or uh, uh, tell me on my uh, youtube videos that you found it and let me know so that's all for this video and see you in next video or we can discuss problem number 14 here only because it is it is a bit easier problem which says when you polarize a new, uh, neutral dielectric the charge moves a bit but the total remains zero all right 
the fact should be reflected in bound charges all right prove equ from equation 11 and 12 equation 11 12 was this uh, sigma b and rho b all right so we need to take these equations and prove that uh, total charge remains zero inside when uh, inside a, a neutral dielectric when we move a charge a bit let me just solve it here only this is a very easy question problem 14 on page 179 so it says we, we have to take uh, that equation so q q enclosed total q enclosed is can be written as sigma b da plus rho b d tau we very well know it and sigma b in terms of polarization can be written as because we have polarized the neutral dielectric that is why we are using the concept so p dot n cap into da plus with a negative sign sorry because rho b is minus del dot p d tau so using gauss divergence theorem is this in this formula so we get q enclosed as p into da in the direction of n cap minus uh, the Gauss divergence theorem she says that uh, over a surface integral, the surface integral over a closed surface can be uh, written as the divergence of or of that vector in the volume integral. So writing it as this, so we get p dot d a n cap. Just applying Gauss, so we can see they both cancel out. So q enclosed this was the Gauss divergence theorem so q enclosed becomes 0 so this proves from equation number 13 and 14 uh, 11 12 that total bound charge vanishes when we polarize a neutral dielectric and charge moves a bit all right so total charge remains 0 so you just need to apply some uh, the Gauss divergence theorem and this formula so that's all for this video see you in next video bye bye